welcome to the third How To Tuesday here at Squared Peg. Today we're going to talk about creating a form with Google Documents. This is a feature that Google released a few weeks ago, um, but it, it's kind of hidden a little bit in Google Documents, so I thought I'd just walk you through it and show you how to get to it and create a form. This is something we've been using in the office. Uh, I sent an email out last Friday inviting admitted students to the last home basketball game and we're giving them tickets at a 60% discount. So we just said to fill out this quick form if they want tickets. And when they go to this form online, then you fill it out and submit it, and it instantly puts it into this Google document, which just keeps track of everything. And from here, I can uh, either share it with other people with the Gmail accounts or just copy this or export it into an Excel format and send it to whoever needs to have it. So, we're going to go to docs.google.com, and if you don't have an account, create one, and if you just need to log in, do that. So, what we're going to do is click on New, and we're going to make a new spreadsheet. And we're going to go ahead and just save it right away so we can give it a name. And, okay, so now we have we have our spreadsheet here and the way to create a form you're going to want to go to share up here in the top right tab corner here and invite people to fill out a form and now from here it's going to tell you you can create a form and invite people to fill it out and their answers are automatically going to go into the spreadsheet so we're just going to click start editing your form so we have a separate pop up here give your title a name form a name, sorry, <laughs> and you can add description, so we're just going to say how cool is how to Tuesday. So um, now you have your question title and you can have help text, so we're going to again say how cool is how to Tuesday as an example, and for the help text we're going to say um, one being the highest five being the lowest. And then uh, from here uh, we have text, paragraph text, multiple choice, checks, check boxes, or choose from a list. Uh, for this instance we're probably going to want to do multiple choice. You can just one tab, two tab, three tab, four tab, five. So now this is going to give you, because you're going you're gonna to do this when we're done, uh, you're going to have five options on rating how cool How To Tuesday is, uh, one through five. So you can just save that and that's how it's going to look minus the boxes up here so if you want to add another question you could do another test question and uh, what is your email and for that one we'd probably obviously want to do just a text and save it again now if I wanted that to be on the top you just click the arrow here and there it is uh, if I wanted to edit this and say five being the highest and one being the lowest. I could just do that and save it. Um, that's pretty much it. So uh, as you can see, it's very simple to just create a form. And then you just click Next, Choose Recipients. And I usually just go ahead and email it to myself so I can have the link. The link's right here. But as you can see, it gets cut off. It's actually longer. So if you're going to copy it, and just kind of make sure you have it all. Or you can right click and copy link location. And so you just email that link or embed it wherever you want people to get to this spreadsheet. Um, and that's pretty much it. Down here you can uh, customize your confirmation message. So I can say thanks for submitting your vote. We appreciate it. And if you want to let people see existing responses, you can do that also. So now you can see it. Put check for updates here. And also, if I'm sending it to myself, I can include the form in the email. So you can send this email to people and they can actually just vote straight from the email and never have to go to a site. So I'm going to go ahead and just invite myself there. Um, up here you can go to the live form. So now here we are. So I'm going to put my email in and I'd say it's pretty cool. And I'm going to submit it. And that's all. So if we go back into our uh, documents here and click on that we should see
my submission right here. So and it tells me that I am also viewing it. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you can find some use out of Google Documents at your school or just for personal uses. And thanks a lot.